Welcome, welcome, welcome to Story Time with me, Miss Sheila. Hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Tonight's story is called A Gift. And it's a, um, a story about um, the Chinese New Year and about family that lives far away. So let's get into it, okay? Okay. Homesick. That's how Amy's mother feels whenever it's Chinese New Year. She thinks about her brothers and her sister, who live on the other side of the world. Amy has never met her uncles and her aunt, but she knows a lot about them. Uncle Zong is a farmer, and Uncle Ming is a fisherman, and Aunt May is a nurse who works in the local hospital. They think about Amy's mother, too. So you see the picture of her family right there? And... So for the Chinese New Year, they make all the food to prepare. And then they have those little red, um, uh, I think they're like little uh, bags with treats and stuff in. Sometimes they send letters about their lives in China. And sometimes they send packages like the one delivered today. So you see the postman went. Amy and her mother opened the box that had traveled so far. See, the, they're in the living room. There's the box. They're so excited. Inside, they found a letter. Our dear sister. Last month, Zong was working in his field. See him digging up in his field with the ox. And he, his bow unearthed a beautiful stone. Stone that there he's gonna pick it up right there. It was smooth and shiny, like the stones we found near the river when we were children. Nice. It looks like a jade stone, maybe. In the evening, Zong brought the stone to town. Is that not beautiful how they get to travel? And that, that bridge, very pretty. He showed it to Ming, who looked at the stone and saw a dragon inside of it. Is that not cool, like how carvers can see um, shapes and images in different stones where others probably wouldn't even see it? So he has an imagination to create something. Ming worked for many days, carving and polishing until he brought the dragon out of the stone. You see him up here in his boat, working away at it. Nice. Today, Ming showed me what he had created. The stone that Zong had found in the fields is now a necklace for Amy. We hope she likes it. Happy New Year, your sister May. So see, she's looking at the necklace that uh, Uncle Ming um, made for her. Is that not cool? This is for you, sweetheart, said Amy's mother. It's a gift from our family. A dragon, said Amy. Look at how happy she is. And it looks great on her. The dragon is the symbol of China, said Amy's mother. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, said Amy, and to my family far away. Wow. I hope you enjoyed that story tonight. Until next time with me, Miss Sheila, keep shining your bright light and keep talking to your family, writing to them, whatever. Okay? Enjoy. Bye.